All right, are you ready? Let's DIY. Do it yourself. So tonight, I need to make more soap for our bathroom. So I'm gonna be doing a lavender foaming hand soap. Um, I like to do this one for our master bathroom. I usually do a thieves foaming hand soap for our kitchen and our guest bathroom. Um, both are great options. This one happens to be empty, so I'm gonna show you how easy it is just to make your own. Um, you could buy foaming hand soap. Uh, one of the things I do is I use Young Living's foaming hand soap, and the reason I do do that is because it is a clean product um, without toxic chemicals that are going to disrupt my hands. I've had many issues in the past with eczema and different things, and um, I know a lot of it has to do with a lot of the products and things I was using on my skin. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to make your own foaming hand soap. So tonight we're gonna do a lavender foaming hand soap. So um, you could just have an empty eight ounce um, foaming hand soap bottle. You can order them on Amazon even. It's really easy to get these. I'm just using one that I already have that's empty. So I'm gonna take the lid off of that. Paper towel in case I spill. <laughs> that is most likely gonna happen. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna start off with is I use um, a cast oil soap. I just use Dr. Bonner's, it's just the plain one. It's just the baby unscented. That's what I use for most of my um, DIY stuff just because it doesn't have a scent to it. So we're gonna do two ounces. I have this really cool shot glass. You can get it at a lot of places. I think I got it at Walmart. And it's just in it pre-measures and it has the ounces. Your average shot glass is an ounce. So if that helps, but it has teaspoons and tablespoons and then, so we're gonna do two ounces. So it's gonna be two of these. So let's fill that up. So there goes one. Put the next one in. Guys, this is like the easiest recipe ever. Anybody could do this, even your kids. This would be a fun thing to do with kids. So we got two tablespoons of the castile hand soap, or castile soap, excuse me. Next up, I'm gonna do lavender essential oil. Lavender is really good for um, soothing skin. It's very calming, it's also very relaxing. It's known as the Swiss Army Knife of essential oils because it has so many uses. Um, I'm using it in, in this, well, because I already had a lavender bottle, but because I really do like it for the bathroom because it is a very calming, relaxing scent. It's very spa-like and um, there are thousands upon thousands of uses to use with your lavender essential oil. So we are gonna add 15 drops of lavender essential oil here. Excuse me because I cannot count and talk at the same time, so you have to bear with me for a second. So we're adding 15. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 15 drops of lavender essential oil, and this is Young Living Essential Oil. I do not recommend using other, um, if you were to go anywhere else and get that because you do not know what else is in the bottle. And that's why I'm using this because it is pure. A bottle of essential oil could be labeled pure um, and only contain 6% of actual pure essential oil um, per the FDA. So just keep that in mind. There could be other fillers and things. And I know with Young Living, the entire bottle is pure essential oil. Next up is we have Thieves Household Cleaner. I know it sounds weird that I'm adding cleaner to this, but this stuff is super clean and it's just an essential oil-based plant cleaner that is safe, for your, safe to touch on your skin. So I'm putting in a cap full of this and the reason I'm adding this to it is for its cleansing properties to make sure my hands are clean. So I'm just adding in a cap full of that. And the other, um, Foaming hand soaps I use are the Thieves ones and it has the Thieves essential oil, so it has a lot of different properties in it with the oils that are in the Thieves blend. So that's why I'm adding this in there. Okay, last but not least, good old water. I just use tap water. So I just filled up my little pitcher at the sink. I'm gonna fill up, you have to make sure you leave enough room, sometimes I go over, to push this back into the um, container. Otherwise it'll just push up on you. And then you're gonna, that give it a little shake and you can see how it comes out see just foaming hand soap super easy I mean how easy was that so that's just making your own foaming hand soap that you can put in your bathroom your kitchen anywhere garage <laughs> um, 
easy peasy DIY. If you have uh, more interest in getting some lavender essential oil, let me know. Or if you have any other questions on this, I hope you have a great night and make your own Thieves Filming Hand Soap.